hello everyone so in this video we will start by creating a new application which is called a tip calculator so without wasting any time let's create our Xcode project and ok it will be a single view application and let's name this tip calculator language will be swift and devices will be universal so let's save it in my project folder so I have created the app let's change the simulator to iPhone success okay now I think we will start by building a UI for this app so let's see what all things we need the first thing we need is we need a label in which label sorry a text field in which we can enter the total amount so let's grab a text field here at the top and let's add some constraints to it I want it 40 from the top 20 from the left and 20 from the right okay and now I will add constraints okay this is done and let's left align it and let's enter a placeholder which, which is enter amount okay so we are done with the amount now the next thing we need is we need uh, a slider which will ex actually set the percentage of tip amount that we want to give so first we need a label and we need a slider okay so let's grab them so I will place the label here and tip percent okay let's make it bigger and here I will add my slider let's add constraints to the slider so 8 from the left and it should be 20 from right and uh, I think give it 40 from top and add constraints tools add thing we forget let's do for the tip f first so I will do 20 from the left I think 40 from the top and 8 from the right and add 3 constraints ok now where is my slider come on ok so I will open this and I will select my slider from here I will it's not working I don't know why so what we'll do is I will just delete it okay so label is at its place so now let's again drag a slider okay so now what we will do is we will do 40 from the top 8 from the left and 20 from the right and let's add three constraints okay now I think it is looking nice so let's set some values for our slider I think the minimum values we want is 0 0.5 percent minimum value so let's select no it's not 0 0.5 minimum tip should be 3 percent and maximum I think it should be 30 percent and let's set by default 10 percent okay this is done with our this slider now we need a label uh, down there which will show the tip amount okay so let's create a label here and let's do 40 from the top 20 from left 20 from right and add constraints and I will center align it okay 
so it will show tip amount okay now we need one more now what we will do is we will create another slider for splitting the bill up up into number of p number of people so i will grab a label so what i will do here is i will type people and i will do 100 from the top 20 from the left and add two constraints now i will add a slider for the number of people and i will place it here okay so i will do 97 from top 8 from right 20 left sorry and 20 from right and I will add three constraints and now for people let's the minimum value is 1 the mm, sorry value I think it should be 1 minimum value is 1 and maximum is let's say mm, 15 okay and I think let's select default value to be 4 now I will show a label which will show number of people let's display it here let's add some constraints to it first 40 from the top 20 from the left 20 from the right and add three constraints center align it and I will name this label to be number of people now what we need is we need a last label at the bottom which will show the mm, it will not show the total amount tip amount number of people mm, let's check what should we display we should display total number of the total amount as well as what each person will pay okay so let's grab a label here and another label here and let's add some constraints so I will do 40 from top 20 from left 20 from right and add three constraints I will do the same for this I will do 40 from top, 20 from left, 20 from right and add second trains and now I will center align both of them okay so I will this will be my total amount and this will be each person amount okay so I think we are done with the UI so let's add connection for this in our file okay so let's press this button and now we will add connections I will remove the code that we don't want actually okay I will hide the left panel also because we don't need it now done so this is I will just create this outlet which is amount text field okay and this will be our tip slider and this will be tip amount label this will be people slider and this will be people label okay 
this will be total amount label and this will be each person amount label okay we are done with that now we need some IB actions so for that we need an action that whenever its value is changed it will automatically run a function so I will just right click it you can see that there are many different events so I will do editing changed so whenever an editing has been changed it will automatically do some calculations so I will just drag it here come on okay so what I will do is I will do mm, amount changed okay this is a connection now I will create a connection for a slider and this should be value changed come on okay I will do tip changed and now I will add for this also this is called people changed okay so now let's close this and now we have to write all the code in our view controller dot swift file so I think this video is already long so we will write some code in our next video okay so I will see you in the next video we will write our code for building our calculator thank you for watching this video